Okay, hello everybody. Uh, TJ Horse Girl here, riding in with another video. This is another trucker video from Rev It Up. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I took a little break because I got really frustrated. Um, <clears throat> but these were really popular on my channel, and so I hope I can get that popularity back. So here we go. This is the latest one from Rev It Up. That's my weather right now. Storming outside. <clears throat> um, dude. Dude, seriously, come on now. Come on now. That's loud in my ears. And there's a tornado warning. Nice. <clears throat> south of me. I'm not too worried. What in the heck? Whoa! Saw them brakes smoke up white. Yeesh! The good thing he wasn't pulling a trailer. He would have not been able to stop. Why do we brake check these guys? Again, why do we do this? What are you doing? You can't even stay in the lane, dude. God, there are dumb people out there. Okay, bus. Bus versus semi. Who was going to win? Probably the semi. And a whole lot of injured passengers. Assuming there are passengers on that bus. Really? Really? Man, this is when you, don't think that... you had to get over right then and there, huh? Woo! I don't know if you heard that, but that was thunder. I heard that with my headphones on. So I can't let the people think that because if I do, we could be at a war with China. Come on, semis, really? Come on now. What was that? What the heck was that? Seriously, people, come on. Yeah, hi. And I bet you're mad too, aren't you, you dummy? What's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? Okay, nothing yet. We're speeding up. And there it is. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Unless you're going to brake check. Oh! Jeez, that was close. Right? People think they're going to win. An 80,000 pound truck pulling a trailer. Good grief. That's called playing stupid game, winning stupid prizes. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, because whatever you can throw out the window is going to make a difference to a semi. Whoa, dude. Easy. Could turn those high beams in the daylight. Okay. Ooh. Dude, should you be going 55? Whoa! I think 55 is even too fast. D 
Dude, I think 55 is even too close. It's too fast. In this weather, with those roads. Just saying. Holy cow. Let's see. Daytona. No, not Daytona. Tatona. <laughs> Heading east, January 6th. 32 degrees, snow and rain, 60 miles an hour. Why are you going to drive that fast? UPS drive in front of me had highly variable speed starting at Teton. 40 mile, 40 to 60. US driver failed to make. Do we have to do this? Failed to make the pass into oncoming traffic. Note, both UPS drivers were at Driggs stoplight. Four cars in front of me. They made little progress at great risk. Alrighty then. Let's see what happens. To refill my soda. So I have to keep checking my phone because I gotta keep an eye on the weather. Ooh. Day after fatal crash. That's not good. Unsecured load, skid steer, loses skid steer, loading ramps, and other implement. Tractor trailer starts to jackknife. Control maintained to ensure that motion stop prior to impact. Oncoming traffic is too important to stop. Assist. Ensure that road is clear and drive through the scene. Note, tractor trailer is straddling both lanes of traffic, but that does not stop important two-legged carbon life forms from driving through the space. <laughs> Truth. See, he's driving at, I think, at a reasonable speed. 26 miles an hour. There you go. Because he's skidding a little bit. Whoa! See, he was skidding on the ice a little bit. He was driving slow. Not good. I didn't pause there, so you have to go back and pause if you want to read that. <clears throat> no vehicles behind me. The person decided to put us both in dangerous position than to drop behind me. Of course! Let's just be between two semis, because that's smart. At least he's admitting he's being stupid. But the car in the middle is even dumber. That's how you get squished like a pancake. Are we going to brake check this car? Yep, we sure are. Oh! Seriously, asshole. Good lord. That's what happens when you brake check somebody, you people. Good lord. If you're gonna blow through a stop sign to get in front of somebody, drive. Pick up the speed. I hate it when they do that, they floor it to get in front of you and then slow down. Current loop video is now locked. What is the hurry? You don't save that much time. You really don't. By doing this, you do not save that much time. You really don't. If you don't get an accident or pulled over, because then you lose even more time. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Gave us a bunch of stuff to talk about that isn't the 13900K. Their extreme tuning utility or XTU tool has been approved. Oh, that was close. Holy cow. Queensland. Okay, so we're in Australia. What did he do? Oh, now we're gonna break yeah, check. You wanna play that game, do you? You wanna play that game? It's not a game you wanna play, people. That's how you win stupid prizes. Really? That's what we're gonna do? Again, if you're gonna blow through a a thing to get in front of a truck. Pick up the speed. Don't slow down. Keep in mind that while the <coughs> white lines are, are 
10 long and the spaces are 20 long, this means I was around 100 away when she pulled out, even less time to react. I was loaded with very large rolls of newsprint and weighted about 78,000 pounds. A swerve to the right lane was not an option. I would have either rolled the truck or jackknifed it. People are just dumb. To keep muting it music-wise, don't want to get nailed with another copyright strike. I don't report every driver that leaves or speeds, but as you will see, this driver may be especially nervous, and for good reason, I guess. I heard of them. First, I want to take a brief moment and thank all first responders. Ooh, okay. Out there, no industry is perfect, even trucking, but these men and women do put their lives on the line for hard work for us. Thank you. That's right. They do. It's exactly what first responders do. Treat them with respect. Whether it's police, fire, or um, EMTs. Car passing at normal speed. It's 2.30 a.m., I guess. Holy cow. What's the time spent we've got to do with it? I need the storm to pass. I need to go out. I need to feed the horses, and I'm hungry. I can still hear the rain falling. Now once this guy come past me, swerve in his lane, then shifts all the way to the right and exits. Doesn't seem like a normal exiting. He was actually in the shoulder before arriving to the exit. Barely see him. I mean, yeah, he went all the way over, but again, there's no traffic, so. Be different if there was traffic and he did that. He's back. How'd he get back? Where'd he come from? He got off. Did he get back? I guess he got back on. Obviously. That was a dumb comment. <sighs> Three and a half minutes later. Did he crash? He crashed. People. Don't be stupid. He was probably drunk. It was 2.30 in the morning, so there's a good chance that guy was drunk. He was definitely bruised and beat up. Not very coherent, but emergency services arrived quickly. Took him off in an ambulance. I had to get back on the road after filling out a witness statement, but... I think for the accident, he will recover. He was probably drunk, so he's probably lucky. <coughs> Given it's 2.30 in the morning, and if he's weaving all over the road, it's probably a DUI. Exactly. Drive safe. That's what I say. Oh, we got a whole bunch of the semis going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, including the one in the video. I swear the sound's on. I promise the sound's on. I don't know why I'm not hearing anything, but the sound's on. Dude, you should have moved over already, given the fact that's an exit-only lane. What in the heck, dude? Is that really necessary? Seriously. 
All right, everybody. Stay safe. Take care. TJ Horseclaw, riding out.